Hello everyone, welcome to Vineland Studio. Today I'm going to be talking to you about color grading Nikon D3300 footage. And I know that doesn't sound like very color gradable footage from such a low-end camera, but you'd be surprised how you can get the Nikon D3300 footage to look like. So here we go. So starting off, the clips that I chose were taken in California at a friend's house and I was just messing around. I thought the lighting was really cool, the plants and the, the dew and the rain on it was uh, it just made it look interesting so we have our two clips right here ignore my shaky footage all right so first just drop the footage into the timeline and we have it here all right and go to the color tab so for our color grade we are going to be making five nodes in total so do alt s in order to add new nodes so one, two, three, four. So five nodes in total. And then your first step in this case is to select these two by dragging and then create compound node. And I will explain this, but not yet. So first go to this first node and we're just gonna label it. And I'm going to be calling it the curves node. Second node will be the oh, the wheels node, as in color wheels. This node will be the halation node, and this will be the glow node. All right, so starting off with our curves node, we go into the curves. Normally I try to make my footage look like film because I just really appreciate that look. So first, um, I, I just realized I can't see any of the, the waveform here, but I'm going to adjust by eye, I guess. And just to get things out of the way, um, I am shooting in neutral color profile. I do not have log. Um, there's no log on, Nikon D, on a Nikon D3300. Uh, that's just how the camera is made. Um, so I just took the neutral color profile and just dragged everything down, saturation, everything, and just made this very flat-ish image. It's still kind of contrasty, as you can see here and here, but it works. Um, it's what I have, and I'll make do with that. So let's go into the curves here, and we're just going to go and adjust this to bring down the shadows a bit. All right, so I'm gonna make minimal adjustments here. Very tight, small adjustments. So I really want the white to stand out a lot. Like, I really like the white on the flower. So I'm probably, as you can see, so these are the dark parts of the image. And if I pull this down, then it's just all dark. If I pull it up, it makes the dark parts brighter. So right over here is the dark area middle areas or mid-tones, and these are the highlights. I guess I could say this is also shadows. So let's just go here. That looks good. So then we go into the shadows and pull this down here, leave this note here, or leave this uh, wheel thing, I guess, and pull it slightly up, not to the point where it's past this, to make a subtle kind of milky black like not completely black but milky and then i'm going to be doing the same thing but for the highlights over here so create this by tapping it and then i'm going to pull down this and this just creates a very subtle not too bright part of the highlights so this looks pretty good i mean yeah so let's just deselect this much brighter and this has a little bit more contrast it's more corrected and so now moving on to our second node we are going to be going into the color wheels, which is right here. Don't be confused with this. I almost always confuse this and select this, but this is very different. So remember, not HDR. So first step you want to do is go into the lift or the shadows, and you want to pull it to a slight kind of turquoise look. And as you can see by deselecting this, regular and more blue. So I really like this kind of orange and teal look that film really just naturally pulls off. Then go into the gamma if necessary and pull this to the orange. And as you can see, that's a very balanced looking image. 
and I can go here and you can see the difference. If you pull a little bit more to the orange and a little bit, maybe not the, there we go. That looks good. All right, now that we're gonna go into the halation and halation is something that is very interesting. Halation occurs because film can handle highlights of an image much better than digitally, like digital cameras can. So the highlights of an image can kind of bloom onto other things and create this subtle red halo effect almost. So that's halation. So first step is show compound node and see here are our two nodes. And the first thing you're gonna do is use the, the qualifier and the luminance effect. So go into here, the color wheel, or no, sorry, the color picker, and then we're going to drag this all the way to the right. And as you can see, these, this would be the brightest parts of an image, but as you can see, it's kind of a darker image. So I'm just gonna pull this back until I can see the very, the brightest parts of the image. And just to keep in mind for this, there's not really any bright lights or anything. So it's, it's gonna be a very, very subtle effect. So now we go into our next node and we choose effects. And here I have my favorites, the edge detect effect. So you go here and you drag it on and you go into mode, grayscale. You then drag the gamma to see, now you can see the bright parts, the bright outline. And I would drag it all the way to the right because I want it to keep very subtle because I know a lot of people have a lot of extra halation that you don't really need in your image. So now I'm going to pull down the brightness, increase the width, and then blur it to death. And then also reduce the brightness there. Very subtle. So now, we're gonna go into the color of the image and pull it to a more red, and darker red. And now there's nothing. Let's increase the brightness a little bit less. That works. So now press edge mask overlay, and there you have it. Very, very subtle. Well, maybe I should adjust that. Pull the brightness down a bit. Very subtle. Um, Obviously, if you're working with a more contrasty kind of backlit image, it looks a lot, you know, it looks a lot better. So just keep that in mind. So now moving on to our glow node, and this is our final node. And essentially what we do here is go to effects, drag the glow effect onto our node, then pull our shine threshold all the way to the left. And as you can see, this looks over the top and kind of extra. So just scroll down here, go to composite type and select soft light. And now this makes it much more subtle and it just makes it a little bit more contrasty, but that's not what I want to do. I want to go to color filter and select a blue kind of hue. So I go press okay. And then I play with the blend in global blend. So you can see it's making it a little bit darker and more like this turquoise. So I'm just gonna pull it around here. And there you have it, the color grade. So I'm just gonna deselect these. All right, so this, is the, this was the original image. So we're gonna go to our curves and this added a little bit more contrast and kind of corrected the image. Wheels had a little bit more creative side to it. Halation. Very subtle, just on the edge of those petals. And then to the glow, where it had a little bit more of a darker vibe to it all. All right, we're gonna be doing the same thing for our second image.
So added some curves, color wheels, halation, and the glow. And there it is. Another thing that I like to do that doesn't involve color grading, but more like effects, I like to add letter boxes. So in order to do this, go to timeline, go down to output blanking, go to 235, and there you have it. I think this just makes it look cooler. I don't know, a little bit more widescreen, more cinematic, if you will. Another thing that I like to do, even though the Nikon D3300 does have a little bit of extra grain, I mean, well, more like noise, I like to add a grain overlay. So normally you can find these grain effects online, just look up free grain overlay and you can just try and find something like this. So what you want to do is pull your grain overlay and as you can see, grain. It's not really meshing well with your image. So select it, go to the inspector tab, scroll down to composite, go to composite mode, and select soft light if I can find that. There it is, soft light. So now there is a subtle grain and you can obviously choose the opacity, you know, to reduce the grain or increase the grain. I think that's it's fine where it's at. It looks very film-like. If it doesn't reach the full length of your clip, you can select this, press Alt or Option, and then drag it and it automatically duplicates it. And then you can trim it like that. So now you have your clips with the grain over top of it. So there you have it. That's my color grading tutorial for the Nikon D3300 and its footage. And if you'd like to know my specific settings for the Nikon D3300 color profile, then feel free to comment and ask any questions. Thank you for watching this video and have a wonderful day.